on, Doc. Snap out of it. This guy's got my stomach. Hmm? Oh. Ooh. Five o'clock in the morning. Why can't these roosters get shot at a decent hour? Come on, hurry up, Doc. This guy's shot. Say, what's your name? Who did it, Dopey? Who did it, Dopey? Somebody's always got to pay for a fork like this, one way or the other. Gee, Joe, that was a nervy job. I hope Bob and Bull don't get caught with this. <laughs> if they're dumb enough to get caught, let them go. What do I care? I almost forgot. Hey, Eddie, pull up at that flower shop. It ain't open this way. It will be. It can't be no more than luck. Huh? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Connor. Morning, sir. Good morning, officer. Get going, James. Morning, Jill. Mr. Pavidi? Mrs. DeBurn, and I wish you wasn't. You stop this silly flower business, do you hear me? Why, it's your birthday, ain't it, huh? Well, who told you to celebrate it? My heart, darling, my heart. Well, shut it off, or my husband might plug it for you. <laughs> That's not his racket. That piano player couldn't plug nothing but his song. <laughs> Thank you. 
do anything wrong. <laughs> no, not unless you give him the chance. Oh. Come on, come on. Who are you going to call up now? But who's like the club? I'm going to reserve a table for four. <laughs> you ain't rich yet. Just the same, we'll have a little party tonight. I thought you'd go. Where's Fred? I won the bet. Arrange my table. Yes, sir. Oh, don't worry. I'll make it right with you. Sure. What? There's a prize for the wife. Yes. Her birthday. Okay. See you later, George. Gee, honey. That spoils everything. I wanted to surprise you. It doesn't spoil a thing. Great. Then you and Peggy meet us at the Footlight Club. After the show, huh? We're celebrating. Oh, Fred! Got any money? Sure. Hey, hey! Oh. I almost forgot your son. <laughs> Thanks, dear. I'll see you later, huh? Bye. Fred, you took an awful chance. Why do you carry money in your pocket? <laughs> come on, come on. Two bells. Oh, wet. <sighs> it was a stand-up two hours ago. Where did you grab the watch? The party Joe Previti gave for you last week. All the girls got them. Sorry you weren't there. No, no, you wouldn't be. And all over a wedding ring, you couldn't hop for two bucks. Maybe it's Brad. <laughs> Nothing would surprise me about that oil can of yours. Maybe you're right. But that doesn't give you the right to go calling him names. Hello, gals. Hello, dearie. Neat count of uh, rubles. He's not much on looks, but all oh, those rubles. Well, good boy. Oh, baby, was you waiting for all the little, little girls? Some crust and some birthday party. Hello, Joe. Hello. Me and my shadow. <laughs> I guess you can't lose me, huh? <laughs> well, that's Joe Graviti. All over. Every way at the same time, huh? Hey, what you girls doing out here? Oh, come on in and have a drink. Sure, come on. I'll buy you champagne. Anything at all, huh? <laughs> Sorry, old timer. She thinks we've got a date with her husband. <laughs> I guess that lets me out, huh? <laughs> then, then how would you like to have lunch with me tomorrow, huh? Come on. I'll take you to the to the Ritz or Sherry. They're, they're pretty swell joints. They say, huh? Yeah, they're all right. Well, if they're not swell enough, we'll build another joint, huh? <laughs> Atta boy, you start drawing up the plans while I make another save at finding Fred. And if I don't, I'm going home. Oh. <laughs> Here. Make yourself useful and give me two nickels. Oh, hey, here. here. I said nickels for the telephone. Oh. <laughs> You're a thing you know. There you are. Oh, uh, oh, Joe. Huh? Joe, I, I didn't get a chance to thank you for the little souvenir. You left the party so early. Sure. I only staked it because I thought she'd be there. What's the use of me hanging around? <laughs> Let everybody have a good time. Sure. Gee, it only cost me 20 grand. <laughs> I make more than that in one night. <laughs> well, yeah, you're from Chicago, aren't you? Yeah, the toughest part of it. <laughs> Say, Joe, how come you're not wearing a wooden kimono? Oh, gee, I never have no trouble with those guys. None of them got no brains. Sure. I beat the lousiest double-crossing gang in Chicago. 
Sure. I've done business with boy killers all my life. <laughs> Me too. Come on, Joe. Let's dip the beat. Huh? Oh, sure. Hey, listen. You go on in there, Peggy. I'll be with you in a minute. All right, sure. Say, Jill. Come on in with Peggy. How much longer are we going to wait around for that clown? Please don't call my husband a clown. Oh, now, hey, listen. I want to talk to you. Now, come here, Jill. Jill. You want me to go up with you, huh? No, thanks. It was nice of you to use that song. Thanks, Joe. Oh, I'm not done, thank you. Just, just give us a kiss, will you, sweetheart, huh? Try and get it. Yeah, and I'm going to get it, too, someday. Yeah? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I don't never take no no for no answer, huh? This is one time you do. I'll call you up about it tomorrow. Just use that nickel for Rick Crow. Hello, Angel. Graham. Works hard, needs your rest. Come on, Fay, let's lap up a few. Good song, Fredo. Table. Yeah, we want a good table. Yeah. Yes, gentlemen, right this way. <laughs> Anything I can do for you, gentlemen? All right, I'll grab a cat. I want to talk with you. Listen, you do just exactly like I say, and I'll slip you a grand tomorrow night. Now, go on, get on the job. Say, this is no job. It's a pleasure. Fruity. Mm. Uh, what is on day? Cold. Brass it. I'll cut it out with it and let's drink. Hello, cutie. Hello, Rosie. Oh, sweet. Hi, Sam. Hey, sit right down. Make it go home. Hey, honey. What? I hear your new song, so wow. I knew you could do it. Yeah. The music's great. Johnny wrote it. Lyrics are great. Hey, Roy. Well, let's shake and celebrate. <laughs> Yay! Hooray! Hey, where? Hooray. 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 Let's let the girlfriend hear our song. Hooray. Let's give another girl a break. Come huh? on, you go ahead and ask him to play it, will you, honey? Certainly I will. Hey, Bill. Try this on your piano. It's good because we wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Johnny. <laughs> All right, there you go. Good deal. Suppose I get the boys to sing it for me? Go ahead, ask him. All right, I will. Say, will, will you fellas sing the top number for me? It's all set. Let it go, Dumbbell. 
Going up so early, trying to catch the worm? I've been worried to death about you. Are you all right? Sure, fine as silk. I've had visions of you being robbed, murdered, run over. Where have you been all night? Well, dear, it's a long story. I waited at the footlights club until after two. I looked for you all over town. You might have some consideration for me. I did think about you. Honest, I did. Now tell me, what happened to you? Well, dear, it was like this. After we sold the song to Pavidi, Johnny thought he had to celebrate. <laughs> you know Johnny. So you... Broke your promise to me. Uh, about drinking? Oh, no, dear. Not me. But Johnny got a bit lit up. We were on our way to join you. When we meet one of those fresh cops. And he made a remark that Johnny didn't like. Then Johnny gets sore and tries to take a crack at him. Are you telling me the truth? Of course. Ask Johnny. Well... The first thing I know, they're dragging him off to the police station. And I go along, too. I can't leave a pal when he's in Dutch, can I? Where's Johnny now? He's home. They let him go after I paid his fine. You paid his fine? What with? With the, with the advance that uh, Joe gave me for the phone. Seems when you and that Johnny get together, something always happens. I'm sorry, dear. Honest, I am. But now that it's all over, and I've told you everything, you understand, don't you, sweetheart? Oh, I, I suppose you couldn't help it. Of course I could, darling. Hey, honey, uh, how about a little breakfast? I'm starving. I'll fix it for you right away. Well, you change your clothes. All right, honey, I want some nice eggs and bacon and biscuits and donuts and coffee. Hello, Peggy. Hello, Angel Face. Here for breakfast? Yep. Say, you're glad to have me. You know we are. <laughs> We're tickled of death, bright eyes. Say, hey, you big tramp, that's my nose. 
I suppose you've been sitting up waiting for him all night. He just got home. Johnny was arrested. Fred was with him. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm just thinking how funny Fred and Johnny were clowning at the Footlights Club last night. At the Footlights Club? But Fred wasn't there. No. Then it was his double. Why, he, he told me he wasn't there at all. No, he did, did he? Say, how much longer are you going to let that guy put it over on you? Honest, it burns me up. Just because you love him, you let him get away with murder. Peggy, if you've come here with the idea of making trouble between us... Say, listen, Jill, I wouldn't be a friend of yours if I didn't wise you up to this losing game you're playing. Oh, I know. That isn't perfect. But when a man's on the level with you, you forgive a lot. Mm, I suppose you mean by that he wouldn't two-time you with another girl. No, he would not. Oh, you poor, blind little fool. You've been trailing around with that Broadway gang so long, you don't know there's any decency left in the world. Oh, is that so? Well, it's time you woke up. Got some sense in your head. Listen, Jill, that model husband of yours is as crooked as a cork. I don't want to hear any of your cheap gossip. Well, you're going to hear this sooner or later. Fred giving you a dirty deal. Hey, shut up. Gee, do you think it's easy for me to come here and break the news? And you're a coward if you won't face the truth. Your Freddy was at the Footlights Club last night with Ruthie Day. Necking her. I saw him. No, you did not. He'd have nothing to do with her. No. Well, he was giving a darn good imitation of it. With the head waiter showing them to a private dining room upstairs. You're lying. Say, would I lie about something that'll probably bust up your home? Oh, give me credit for some decency, won't you? I still say it's a lie. Well, if you've got to have proof, read that. The raid. Fred. And the roof. Don't, Jill. I know it's tough. Gee, the woods are full of better guys than he is. Come on. Oh. Peggy, leave us. Oh, you lied to me. Listen, I, I was You can't you. get out of what's down in black and white. Read that. Now tell me you weren't arrested. And with Ruth Day. Listen, Jill. I, I was drinking. I, I don't know what came over me. The first thing I remember, I, I was alone with her. And then arrested. You know how it is when a fellow's been drinking. I ought to know. I've been married to you for three years. Three years that you've been cheating me, making a fool of me. Yeah, Don't. I, I, I thought you were different, that someday you'd make something of yourself. That's what I've been living on all these years. I was so sure of you. So sure that you loved me. But dear, you have to give me a chance. I. Chance. I've wasted enough of my life giving you chances. From now on, it's going to be my chance. I'm going to get mine while I'm still young. <laughs> Living in a place like this. Sacrificing everything. And for you. And I was glad to do it, too. <laughs> Isn't that a joke? Oh, you don't understand. Oh, don't think I haven't turned out men. Rich men. Men that would have given me everything I want, and love and respect, too. Well, from now on, things are going to be different. I'm going to have my share of happiness. 
Jill, what are you saying? But I'm through! Jill, through! Cheat, you liar! I ain't rolled you home with the milk wagons since I met you that day. <laughs> Thanks. I always forget. <laughs> and I'm I'm crazier about you than ever. Only I never get a chance at you alone. Honest. I could kill those vultures the way they hang around you. Only you just can't kill all New York, huh? <laughs> well, this is one quiet evening you'll have. Thanks, honey. Thanks. Well, it's about time. A little surprise for you, Joe. Hello, Joe. Oh, shut up. What's eating the boyfriend? A poor little boy wanted to spend a quiet evening at home. Something over on me again, didn't you, huh? What? Inviting all these palookas here. They're mostly your friends. You know what I mean. You let me think that we was going to be alone this evening. I can't keep them from dropping in. You know where there's free food and liquor. Yeah, and that's another thing. You're hitting the face too hard, partying every night, drinking. I need excitement. Keeps me from thinking too much. And I'm getting sick of this run around here all the time, giving me tell. Well, Joe, if you're tired of our bargain, you can quit any time you want. I didn't say that. Honest, I'm gone on you, sweetheart. This never being witches alone is, is driving me crazy. I'm human, you know. I know, Joe, but... <laughs> I see. You still can't get that song plugger out of your head, can you, huh? I get you. I've tried to forget. Honest. I just can't change my heart all of a sudden. 
<laughs> That's all right, darling. I can wait a hundred years for you if I has to. <laughs> I like you. Like you very much. But you wouldn't want me if I didn't love you, would you? Hello, Jill. Hello, Jack. Jack and Jill went up the hill to get a pail of water. Jill isn't walking up any hill, and certainly not for water. <laughs> nice girl, Joe. Yeah? Who told you, huh? Oh, I don't get sore. <laughs> You lucky dog. Only it ain't luck. It's brains. Hello, Jill. Come on over and have a drink. Might just as well. Here's Hal. Here's your sin. Each time we quarrel, you want to cry. I'm She wrote this here. Yeah. Well, now. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. nice. Thank you. Why should I be quite concerned? Letting that song get you going, ain't you? Don't you believe it? That song doesn't mean a thing to me. Listen, Professor. That song is a funeral march.
he's not hurt much. It's so cruel, so unnecessary. Baby, when those boy scouts play, they play hard. I'm sorry, honey. I had to do it. Joe, how could you? It was him or me, sweetheart. I had to get that rod out of the man. Open this door. What's going on here? The whole neighborhood's complaining. That's all right, officer. We're just having a little fun. Fun? Well, cut it out or I'll run the whole lot of you in. Sure, okay. Maybe you were given these out for favor. Maybe. Who does this hardware belong to? Search me. I'll search you all right and everybody else before I get through. All sir. Here's a man that's been shot. Come on, everybody, into the other room. Come on, take him, Dan. Oh, having some fun, was you? Who got you? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Yes, and I will know before I get through. Who did it? All right, I'll take you all to the station. That won't be necessary, Sarge. I did. Self-defense. You're under arrest. Okay. It's nothing serious, honey. Dan, get everybody's name and address. Right. Whose apartment is this? What's mine? All right, I'll have to detain you for material witness. They won't hold you long, sweetheart. Me and me lawyer, you know. <laughs> May I get my wrap? Right in the bedroom. Yes, go ahead. Hurry up. Dan, keep your eye on it. And until you are able to have bail fixed by a magistrate, I am afraid, Mr. Previti, you will have to remain with us. Ah, don't worry, Jill. I'll get bail, and it won't take long, neither. Just the same, take him away, Bob. Joe, I'm awfully sorry to have been the cause of all this trouble. Ah, oh, that's all right. Don't give it a thought. <laughs> Gee, these places was never built for me. <laughs> I'll get out before morning. Sure thing. Come on. Hey, easy there. Oh, ready. Jill. Come on. Hey, wait a minute. I want to take a look at this. Come on, I gotta eat. Gee, but you're looking fine. What are you doing here? Can you imagine? I was just resting in the park. And this silly cup grabs me. He thinks I'm a tramp, I guess. Now, what do you think you are, then? Come on, tell us to the source. Another guess, Sergeant. Drunk? No, sir. Boy, he's sober enough. Just a tramp, that's all. Vegas, eh? Yes. What's your name? Sergeant, may I pay his bail? Sure, sure, money. Don't, don't do that, Jill. I can call up Johnny Dolan. Ten dollars. Here's your receipt, lady. Thanks a lot. But Johnny could have handled it. We've been doing very well lately. Even if I do say it myself. Well, <laughs> thanks again, babe. Goodbye. Give the lady a hand, McCluskey. Some order, please.
Nothing serious. Give him something to eat. That's all he needs. Help me get him to a taxi. Sure. Thanks. 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 Thank you very much. Oh, Eddie. I won't need you anymore. Wait for Mr. Praviti. Okay, ma'am. Drive up Broadway, please. I guess I, I must have been pretty hungry. Don't make any apologies, Fred. You know, Jill, it was strange my running into you tonight. <laughs> I, I thought at first I was seeing things. I couldn't believe. <laughs> there, there, darling. We'll talk afterwards. Seems like I'm always thanking you. Freddy, what have you been doing to yourself? Why, working. You ought to hear my new tune. I'm going to clean up with it. I'm asking $2,000 down you and... you ever stop trying to bluff me? Honest, Jill, I wouldn't like to... Yes, I would. I did. Darling, that's all right. It's all right. I've tried to get on without you. But I'm no good alone. That's the truth. Freddy. Do... Would you want me back? You? You'd come back to me? If you want me. Want you? Oh, no. You can't do that, Jill. You've everything now. Everything. Except... Happiness. You've got to think of yourself, Jill. You're so much better off with that. Forget me. I've tried. I can't. Any more than you can forget me. somewhere. We'll, we'll get a fresh start. We'll... But what about... What about... Uh... Kaviti? He means nothing to me. Only... Only what? I'm afraid of him, Fred. I'm afraid of what he might do. Why? You're my wife. He stop at nothing to get what he wants. Previti won't get you away from me. I'm not afraid of him. Oh, 
Oh, if we could only get away from it all. Just leave it to me, honey. We're a cinch. Hello, boss. Hello, boss. Keep your eye on that door out there. Now listen, you guys. I want you to get this. My girl's figuring on hopping out with another guy, her husband. Double-crossing me, see? No. Oh, I just got an idea. Uh, she feels sorry for the poor egg. So I'm going to take him off her mind. <laughs> She's got a nerve running out on Joe. That last monkey didn't get away with it, did Shut up. It? Shut up about that. I'm scheming something. The Western Limited. The Western Limited. Well, that's the same train you took to Chicago last month. Yeah, I know, I know. There's a local goes to Poughkeepsie on the next track at least a couple of minutes before. I know that one. It stops at Sing Sing. Gee, I got it. It's a cinch. Listen, you guys. I'm spending ten grand for what I want done. Two and a half to each guy on account of the risk. But I want this guy to burn dead by 3 p.m. Now, if you do exactly like I say, everything will be Jake. But if there's one bonehead mistake, it means the chair for the whole bunch of us. All right. Now, listen. My girl and this guy I want bumps has got to meet somewhere, ain't they? Maybe it's at the train gate, maybe not. But there's one thing certain. They both got to go through that gate. in the comic strips. You know how I want to thank you. Oh, now, don't be dumber than you look. <laughs> I couldn't be Johnny unless I look like you. <laughs> oh, Jill. Goodbye. Wish this Jane would pass around some of those kisses. Hey, lay off. He's drunk. Goodbye, Jill. Say good looking. Come on, beat it, too. Come on, Fred. Don't pay any attention to that guy. He's sound. Yeah, well, I don't care what Now, he listen, good looking. Get away from me. Listen, you gorilla. If you touch her again, I'll knock your head off. Hey, what is it? Hey, Emma. Suck him, buddy. Be careful, Fred. been mixed up in it. Uh-huh. Don't. Oh, Ocean officer. I got a load of lead already. Hey, listen, Joe. Everything went haywire. Wapping Bull got the wrong guy. No, this is Nick. Jake got pinched. 
Those two parties got through the gate. Ah, oh, shut up. That's what I get for trusting you dumb sacks. They're on the train. Yeah, he won't cheat me. I'll get him at 125th Street Station on the name of Pravidi. Hey, Happy? Happier than I have ever been in all my life. And believe me, from now on, I'm going to make you happy. I know you are, dear. Gee, it's great to be on our way. I'll feel happier when we get past the 125th Street Station. There's nothing to worry about now. I'm sure Pavidi has something to do with that shooting. Oh, how could he know we're leaving town? It's, it's just a premonition, that's all. Well, this is the last stop. Don't be nervous, dear. Don't be nervous. Oh, I do wish we were out of the city. When we do, we'll be rich. <laughs> oh, I hope so. And you'll see. You double crossed me, didn't you, huh? Jill didn't do it. I did. I got her to leave. Yeah. What do you think you're going to do about it? Vern, I'm going to rub you out for this. Don't! Don't, Joe. He hasn't done anything. He's done plenty. If anyone's to blame, I am. I'll go back with you. Yeah, too late now. You should have thought of that before. She will not go back to you. Why, you keep your hands down. You reach for that gun and I'll kill you. <laughs> what you got, Freddy? A four push? Huh? You have to pay the fee. You're a big shot, gambler. Take a chance. Come on, call me. Don't pay any attention to him. He never carried a gun in his life. He's trying to bluff you. Well, what are you going to do? Call or pass? Don't rush me. I'm just trying to figure you. A call! Freddy! Don't be alarmed, lady. There's nothing to worry about. We'll take good care of him from now on. I think you better let me have that little toy. You're not the best shot in the world. Well, Joe, it doesn't pay to be too good a shot, does it? <laughs> Shooting never got me in no trouble, Freddy. My mistake was falling in love. Well. Smarter men than me have stumped their toes the same way, huh? Sure. <laughs> Goodbye, Jill. So long, Freddy. Let's get going, boys. We'll have a little talk later. Nothing for you to worry about. Where did you get that gun? Didn't I tell you I take care of you?